What's up guys, how are you? Here we have the Bam Presto Glitter and Glamours Charlotte Pudding from the anime One Piece. Uh, I have a few One Piece characters, uh, but this one is for the Glitter and Glamours line. Um, as you can see, um, Crane King and Bam Presto go one and one with, um, hand in hand with each other. Uh, but this is of course um, Charlotte Pudding, one of the many, many characters that are part of the One Piece anime TV show. Um, this is, um, again, with Glitter and Glamours, there are quite a lot of female characters that are created in this lineup. Uh, here's the side of the box showing you uh, what is <clears throat> what the statue looks like. And here's the other side. This is the back, actually. It comes in two different colors. I can't remember if I have the A version or the B version, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and there is the, a side shot of the box. So here we go. Let's just take a look, open it up. Um, as you guys remember with Ben Presto statues, sometimes there may be the need to assemble the parts to it. So here we go. Cardboard insert. Normally it is, yep, it's bagged right here. Um, we'll flip it upside down, just like that. So we can just slide it up. And there we are. So yep, it is. It does come in pieces. And let's take a look. So there we have it. So we do have some stand pieces. There's a little tiny piece right here. And then the legs. We have the legs right there. And then her body with her long dress and her head's attached. So let's cut this open and assemble the pieces. All right, guys, so here we have all the pieces. So this is a little weird because I've never seen a piece, a small piece like this one before, um, but I guess we'll figure it out together. Uh, and then we have this more than likely is for a heel or I don't know, we'll find out. But here is the stand. They're gonna go in here in some form. Uh, legs, long legs, because it's a, actually a very tall statue, just like um, like some of the Grandista line statues. But here's the peg for the body. And then we have the actual body itself, the torso. So there you can see where the peg goes for the legs. Arms, everything sculpted very, very beautifully. Um, head is sculpted in, of course, so you don't have to take out the head because it's already in there. But look at the hair. The hair is very well done. It just waves of hair all over the place and it's very well sculpted. So that looks awesome. So let's go ahead and build this. So we'll start with the stand like always. Um, we can see that there's different size holes right there. And that's looks like the best place for it like so um, you can see a peg right here I wonder if it there you go yeah so the legs actually have this peg formation so one will go there and the other two just like this if you can see it so there's a peg hole and a peg right there that will probably just lock in just like that so, you know what? Let's do this instead. Let's try and take this piece off because I don't want to, you know, mess this up or break it in any way. Let's try to fit this in first and see if that works. Yeah, so that's a very snug fit. You got to make sure that you don't, like, possibly crack or break the heel. But that actually worked out pretty well. This piece again i don't know i'm gonna have to figure this one out i'm not too sure because there's so many there's you know what i'm not too sure could be wrong with anything but it could be something completely different that i'm not aware of um but for right now this works because there's three peg holes and three pegs that fit just like that if you guys have the statue let me know what this piece does. 
because as of right now, on camera, I don't know, and we're gonna have to find out afterwards. So here we have. So now let's insert the legs, hopefully within, oh, that's, so you have to kind of angle it in first and then twist if that's gonna be the case. Yeah, you're gonna have to like shove it in there. And then when you shove it in there, you're probably gonna have to turn it at the same time because there's no other way to take this apart. So let's work with that and try our best without breaking Charlotte here. Because that is very unusual. That is very weird on how we're going to have to insert that piece. I'm going to take this off just to make it easier to try and slide the legs into place. Because I don't think... I don't think the torso comes apart. So just trying to shove in this bottom leg torso is just unusual. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. Because there's no other way. You can see how it, it curves in where you have to insert it like this instead of like that. But it's got to go in there someday because I can't figure out any other way to take this apart because there's no piece to take apart here and it's already been, you know, yeah, that's already done. All right, let's try this again. Unless we go in, yep, oh, there we go. You really have to just throw it in there. I think I got it. I feel like I did. Let's see. Yep, that should work. All right, let's see how Charlotte looks. Just to note, that small triangle piece goes right underneath the other heel shoe, so it fits right inside there. So there you have it. Looks great. Looks beautiful. Um, if I remember in the anime, she has like a third eye right at her forehead. Um, but this just looks great just because it's more, um, this line is more like a glamour shot. Um, as you can see, looks very well done, very well sculpted. The dress, everything, um, all this um, detail with the dress and how, you know, the stress lines and the clothing uh, and it just looks like it's flowing, especially the hair. The hair looks amazing. I love how the hair is detailed, um, especially when they're ponytails too. So it looks really awesome like that. And the face, the face is also a highlight um, based upon, you know, the paint details and everything like that. So there you have it guys. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful picture um, in the way Charlotte is sculpted for One Piece. And if you guys enjoy One Piece, I mean, I'm sure you can enjoy a lot of the characters that are on there because there's just so many characters um, that, you know, represent One Piece. Uh, but there you guys have it. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button as well as subscribe. Check out my hunt videos as well as my other unboxing showcases. Check out all these Van Presto statues that I've been um, amassing of all things. Um, but at the, at the same time, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys um, have been picking up. Let me know if you guys watch One Piece as well as, you know, buy any of the figures of the statues. So appreciate it, guys. I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you on the next hunt.